big part of this story's draw, of Frankenstein's draw, is that it gave the monster, the creature, an interior. Too often the monster is kind of mindless and has no thoughts or emotions. This monster feels and hurts and wants and desires, and in a sense, it's a victim itself, and that really complicates our relationship to the other. You know what, what Mary Shelley did was she extended the kind of fringe science of her time to one logical extreme, that you can create life from nothing, from, from corpses, from a stitched together corpse. A lot of people nowadays will say that is the definition of science fiction. It's an extension of our own technology, and it's a cautionary tale we tell ourselves to throttle our behavior, to make us aware of what we're doing. And so, yeah, in a single book, Mary Shelley kickstarted both um, science fiction and horror with one book when she was 18, 19 years old. It's a thrilling, well-told story. But it definitely emphasized the, um, that your punishment comes for you. That's what so many horror stories tell us. Um, if you go up to the haunted house that you know you shouldn't go up to, then something punishes you for your transgression. Victor von Frankenstein transgressed into realms he should not have transgressed according to the ethics of his time, to, the, to his time. And he was punished for that. His, his creation came for him. What gave Mary Shelley license to do that, to create something from almost nothing, I guess, was that it was part of a contest. She wasn't writing for the critics. She wasn't writing to impress the world at large. She was writing as part of a contest with her and her traveling companions. And that kind of frees you as an artist, as a writer. You don't feel the whole world looking over your shoulder. You feel like, I'm gonna make these three people shiver or, or laugh or something. And, I mean, people will be interested in it just for historical purposes and because it is the, the spawning of horror in science fiction, of course, but I think it's a good enough story that even were it not first, it would be persisting because of that relationship between the doctor and the creature. You can tell the same horror story across the centuries and the horror is always gonna tailor itself to fit the current anxieties and fears of the generation at the time.